About to make some butterscotch wine. All right, we're gonna get our butterscotch wine going. Need to pour some water in the pot. Get you a gallon of spring water. Turn your heat on fairly high. That's good. Now, if you warm the water up before you put the sugar in, it'll warm up faster. Whatever, I don't give a fuck, but if you're patient. Three cups of sugar. That's just a little over a pound. Sugar everywhere. I don't know how you missed a big ass pan. Sugar, stupid. All right, I got this butterscotch flavoring. It's supposed to be super concentrated. Um, I have no idea how much to use. So we're just gonna guess and you, see how it turns out. You'll wind up dumping it all in there. I'm gonna use a... Uh, mm, mm, half. Mm, yeah, I'll dump a half in there. No, I'm gonna dump a third. Not even a third. Yeah, I'm gonna dump a third of the bottle. Then we'll come back after it's. We'll test it in about two weeks. And if uh, if it tastes good in butterscotch, we won't add no more. If it don't, we'll add some more butterscotch wine. We got a viewer. He's asked us to make butterscotch pudding wine about 150 times. He's awesome, and that's an awesome idea, but we're not going to make the pudding part of it because there's a thickening agent in butterscotch pudding. and uh, Deal with the same thing like we did with the chocolate wine. Like yeah, this. I don't think it would turn out well. But this is just flavor, so butterscotch. And this wine. is how we made the bubble gum. Remember, we used this flavor. Yep. What the fuck is that? Must be a splash. Still sugar or still water? Must have. We'll come back to you after it starts to boil. Good and clear. All right, once it starts to bubble, you're good to turn it off. Let it sit and cool down. Then we're going to add it to our jug of water. Or you want to give this some time to cool down. Once it cools down to, you know, 95 or less. below 95 degrees, or below, not what is it, 98.6? Yeah. Once this cools down to below 98.6 or close, we'll pitch our yeast. All right, you want to get some uh, spring water in a jar. You want it to be between 95 and 98.6 degrees, so put it in the microwave. Check it with your thermometer. I'm going to use 71B. I'm going to take, put our yeast in there. We're going to stir the shit out of it. Did you ever read that article where that one, uh, was a woman he used her used her vagina yeast to make a beer oh yeah man i've seen that um this another dude used yeast out of his beard i want to say it's over in europe and it's called pussy is the name of the beer Pussay. would you drink it <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> how hot is she that's the question i mean it can't be any worse than past conquests <laughs> you have the uh All right, we'll let this sit for five minutes and then we'll come back to you when we're putting it in the bottle. All right, it's been about five minutes. Remember, before you uh, pitch your yeast, you wanna make sure the temperature of this comes down some. You want it below 98 degrees. I'm gonna aerate that a little bit. You're gonna pour it in here. And you want to shake this up really good. And we're going to put an airlock on it. 
Airlock's coming slowly. It's all good. Fill your airlock halfway full of water. Put your airlock in there. Wait two weeks, we'll have wine. All right, we're gonna move to our secondary so we can clean it up. I'm gonna use this siphon. There'll be a link in the description where you can get one. cold crashed it it's been in the fridge um i tried a little bit not enough butterscotch for me so we're gonna move it to another jar and then i'm gonna i'm gonna add some more flavoring so we're gonna use this siphon and we're gonna move it all right we gotta move this little mini carboy Add some more of this butterscotch. I like regular scotch better. No, you don't. Better than butterscotch. You're not a scotch guy. Just don't tell me what I am and ain't. You ain't no scotch guy, bro. I mean, I don't like soap tampons like you do, but <laughs> I prefer to drink it. I might not be on that level, but. All right, we're gonna mix that up and then we're gonna try it. Shake it up. All right, so total we added, I don't know, about three quarters of a bottle of this. I think I got this on Amazon or uh, eBay, one of the two. I do a lot of online shopping. Especially when I'm drunk. <laughs> he man. Had a reference to He man. It's been a long time. Hell yeah. You got the power of gray skull, motherfucker. Um, we're gonna bottle it now, and we're gonna try it. And then wash this, put it back in there, and then. No, it's. Oh yeah, we can we, do that. Yeah, we don't need to screen. Awesome ass little siphon. There'll be a link in the description. Come back to you when the bottles are bottled. All right, we got almost four bottles out of that. We're going to give her a go. Let's try it and see what it's all about. All right, here goes the butterscotch. <coughs> Damn, shit went down the wrong tube. <laughs> That's butterscotch, man. It's better than the first time I tasted it, that's for sure. I feel like I want to get all my teeth pulled. <laughs> get me one of them chairs that fucking auto lifts. <laughs> fucking electric recliners. And get you a rascal and drive around and pass out butterscotches. I wish I could. Or get me a white van full of candy. A white van full of candy, huh? All butterscotches. Well, that's butterscotchy as fuck, dude. It turned out really good after you... Um, we sweetened it the second time, that's for sure. Yeah, that's our second uh, artificial, or not artificial, what was that, flavoring? Yeah, alcohol flavoring. Yeah, that's our second one, I guess. You could use any one of them baking flavorings to to basically turn a wine into whatever flavor you want. I mean, That's pretty fucking cool. Honestly, make a sugar wine and then sweeten it afterwards. Yeah, save I mean, most of it. make a fucking sugar wine, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice and cold, which makes it better. Yeah, it's been in the fridge for fucking over a week. That's good shit. Butterscotch. Either way, uh, fuck your mama, bitch. <laughs>